This just won't do at all. Hold on. Any better? This just arrived from Amazon. It's the Falconized Irisa. Irisa? Irisa. One. It's a RGB LED light. It's that exciting, but it does have some nice little touches, and I think it's worth us having a little chat about it on the channel. So let's crack on before we get into that YouTube trend of having funky colored lights. Yeah, that's not for me. Nice and simple as it is right now, but this does a lot more than just this. And it is quite bright now. <laughs> well, let's take a look at it up close and see what's what. These buttons on the side, they're pretty sure, but they take some getting used to. They're quite awkward. I much prefer using the app itself, but they are what they are. If you look at this end, we've got a quarter inch screw thread mount, very, very handy. And if we look at this side, we've got these two little ports here so that you can easily daisy chain them together. That's the DMX port, so you know, remote digital setups and the like. We've got a USB port here for charging. You get a couple of hours out of this thing. Maybe we'll talk about that a bit later on too. And we've got another quarter inch screw thread mount there. The killer mount feature for me, I guess, is the magnetic mounts on each side there. Very handy. That would have also liked a mount point in the center so that we could have a nice little, you know, even spot for your typical little screw thread mount systems. Output 13 watts, battery capacity 3200 milliampers. We saw the type C charging. The bicolor Temperature is a really nice range of 2500 to 99.99 Kelvin. So some extremes there, CRI of 96. This small version is 340 by 60 by 60 and weighs 560 grams. After using it for a little while now, I'm happy to say that it's got a decent battery life here. It's still around two hours as we thought, but that's absolutely fine with the charging points and so on. Also, it's easy to connect with the app. It was a little bit fiddly at first, if I'm honest, but I soon got used to it. I tend to have to turn off Ad Shield on my phone and then I'm usually away. Occasionally I have to add a new device <laughs> or add it again. So it could be improved a little bit there, but once you're there, it's easy to go. So we're on now, I've put it in what? HSI fast. I don't want to go too wild with these modes because, you know, I don't want to worry anyone, but hopefully, <laughs> you know, it's doing the job as it is. As you can see, this one now says fire truck. I don't know. It's a tiny bit fiddly to use the buttons if you need to go through the menus. It takes a little bit of getting used to. I still prefer the app to be fair. Now, as for powering on, it's a pretty smooth experience. That's at, what, 50, 16% power. If I boost it right up, mess up my exposure for this video, it really is quite powerful in this sort of situation. You're not going to overpower the sun, of course. Getting the last few steps is a little bit awkward. Now we're at 10%, but the app gives you the option to go through the full gamut, the full range of color temperatures and adjust them to suit. It really is very, very flexible. The magnets make a big difference to its practicality, but I still think it's missing another quarter inch screw somewhere around the middle to fit the light horizontally. You've got these nice DMX ports that are very handy. You can use it as part of a remote digital setup. So, you know, like if you're a musician or, or you're running a DJ's light show, it's very handy for that too. For £149, you get a nice range and quality of light, a practical tube with the right connections. You might fancy the larger one, to be fair. This is, I think, in an easy to transport form factor, comes with a nice, decent, hardish case. I think it's a pretty good value. I found the Bluetooth connection, yeah, as I said, a little bit 
annoying, but the app was fairly decent once we got used to it. So yeah, happy with it. Gonna put it to some better use than just this. Now over to you, let's stop this from annoying everybody. What funky little lights are you using these days? Let us know in the comments below. Stay safe and I'll see you next week.